is the moment that designers cherish. It's when we can bring our clients home and we can show them how all of the design elements that we've been working on have come together to create their dream home. This is the reveal. Hi, I'm Leah T. Ward of LTW Design. Welcome to our Gather Project. What's so special about this house is that it's right down the street from the water. So this is a beach house. And when you think of a beach house, most people think of stripes, they think nautical, seashells, and maybe a sign that says, you know, beach this way. But you won't see a trace of that inside of here because at LTW Design, how we do coastal beach homes is we keep it very clean, very elevated and sophisticated, but very welcoming. And we do that by layering a lot of textures and using very neutral colors. So come inside and take a look. What I love about this entry is how high the ceilings are. So it's essentially a three-story entry and it's flooded with natural light, which is one of my favorite design elements. As much light from the exterior that we can bring in, the better. All the surrounding rooms on the perimeter of the home flood light into this entry. So we wanted to go with that and blend that with the space as much as we can. So we put a large mirror here and we also did a glass staircase. So I think it's important that these two elements bounce the light around. When we look over here, the entry, we wanted to feel warm and cozy and inviting, but we also wanted it to feel really modern and chic at the same time. So we kept this color palette in this first room very consistent with the exterior of the house. So that when you walk up and come inside, it's, it's like a continuous color palette. What we did add is this ceiling detail, which is one of my favorite things. And you'll see it throughout the house because what comes with modern sometimes people feel can be cold. So since it's a beach house, we wanted it to be very cozy and very warm. So we added, for example, here in the entry on the perimeter of the ceiling, we wrapped it with white oak which layers in a lot of texture. And as I take you through the rooms, you'll see, consistently see texture layered everywhere. So right here in the entry, the first element of texture is in this black concrete console table. And I love the clean lines and how it just grounds the space. And underneath it, we created custom chunky linen ottomans. And I love the juxtaposition of smooth to chunky with the different materials. You'll also see throughout the house, we didn't use a lot of artwork because there's so much glass everywhere. So what we did instead is we used pieces wherever we could that looked sculptural and looked like natural art. So in here, there's five sconces in the entry. And what I love about them is the clean lines, but they're also alabaster which is a beautiful stone and it allows the light behind it to sort of just glow through the stone and when it glows through the stone you'll see it creates all of these natural patterns and you'll see that every sconce has a different path and different veining so every time you walk through a sconce walk past the sconce in the entry it feels like a different piece of artwork you're getting to view before I take you into the kitchen, I do want to highlight that with a three-story entry comes a lot of overhead space. And so it was a perfect moment where we could bring in a really tall piece that dangles down 
and serves as more than just a light, it also serves as a piece of art. So this is a very sculptural piece. The color palette is consistent again with everything else here. Welcome to the eating area, which also serves as a dining room because this is such an open floor plan that this is where you'll eat for Thanksgiving. This is where my clients will eat their breakfast every morning. So we wanted it to feel not too formal and but really sophisticated and consistent with the rest of the elevated design that we did. So let's jump in and start with the light fixture. This one is circular, just like the one in the entry, but I love how they're suspended and the cords that they dangle on are so thin when you're far away, it almost looks like the light is floating over the table. And I do love the repetition of the circle and then a smaller circle and how they just land right in the center of the larger circular table. The textures that I thought were really important in this room is concrete, but I wanted to use two different kinds of concrete. So you'll notice that this bowl that we put on top is very porous. There's a lot of divots and it's very natural and a little bit more rugged, but it sits on another form of concrete, which is a poured concrete, and it's very smooth. This table is round, it's chunky, it's textured, and it really grounds this as the dining area. Since the table was so big and chunky, I wanted to soften it and almost make it look a little feminine because it is a little bit, it leans a little bit more masculine. So I chose these chairs that are soft gray oak and they have this nice curve that speaks nicely to the round table, but they also have these really clean straight lines which you don't see both combined in a chair and done so well. And we chose a really soft upholstered suede for the seat of the chair. Welcome to the kitchen. What I love about this kitchen is that, again, it's consistent with the rest of the house. So you'll see as we go through the rooms that when I'm designing a home, I like it to be cohesive from room to room. So you won't turn and all of a sudden see a pink or purple or blue room. You'll see the same color palette throughout the home layered with just different textures. And so this is beautiful. It's a Caesar stone. We went with a stronger veining in the counter. We wanted it to stand out and be a little bit more bold. And we did a waterfall edge here on the side. Again, just because it's an open floor plan, we felt like that is a really nice artistic design element to look at when you're coming from the other two rooms that are facing the kitchen. I think in open floor plans, it's really important to understand the connection of room to room. So even though right now we're in the kitchen, when you're in the family room, you kind of feel like you're in the kitchen too. So everything you can see from every other part of the first floor. So it's important to bring in as much as you can to keep it interesting. And I love this side where we just tucked in these stools. So they're very discreet. They don't really steal the show. We did no backs and I really love how the leather wraps around the stool. It almost feels like a director's chair. It's just so beautiful. Since this countertop is so sleek and so modern and reflects the light so nicely in here, I really thought it was a perfect opportunity to put something unexpected on it. Instead of a glass vase or something shiny on top of shiny, I decided to forage and find this beautiful vintage pot from overseas. So this piece came in and I just thought it was the perfect layer that this house needed. I love how it's matte, it has a matte finish and it looks like it's almost covered in mud, which is nice and interesting and almost a little bit rugged. Okay, so Come around and I'll take you guys into the family room. This is one of my favorite rooms in the house because it was a perfect opportunity where we could bring in all this casual sophistication and coziness and all the different layers that we have been introducing you to from the entry to the dining room to the kitchen. 
So instead of this being just a white box with a fireplace and a TV above, I really thought it was important to bring that theme of texture in since it is a coastal house. We want it to feel really cozy and warm. And so one of the layers we used is this plaster fireplace and it has this very natural matte finish. And then next to that, we have this clean black stone. And then to warm up the space, I thought having an oak wall was really important for this feature wall because I feel like if we just did white, it may have been a miss. And I think that the oak really warms it up. It goes with the floors. And then again, we brought oak on the ceiling. We decided to do wood beams. So typically beams are a little bit deeper and thinner, but we decided to do them more flat and wide. They're purely decorative, so you can add this to any room. They're not structural, but they do look like they've always been here and they are part of the design. Another area that we got to bring in white oak, which you can tell is one of my favorites in this house, is this custom uh, coffee table which I designed and our woodworker who's amazing made for them. And again, it just feels really nice and beachy and coastal. So all of this light wood really makes the home feel warm. And then this is where it gets really fun for me because just in this room, aside from all the other design elements I've discussed and textures I just showed you, there's at least five or six more. So we have this huge sectional here in this really light color and it's a custom sofa made out of linen and then we used two different forms of linen here on the throw pillows and it's very natural and organic so it does lose its shape but we wanted that that's that gives it that nice lived in comfortable relaxed feeling i think it's important to know that you can have a modern house that's clean and sophisticated but that's also super functional and very welcoming and very cozy. On top of this coffee table, we used accessories that are full of texture. And again, when we're styling, we love to use large, chunky coffee table books. And unfortunately, this is an area where you judge a book by its cover. <laughs> so we do pick books that have good content that we love, but also that match and that go with the color palette. Anytime I can use a swivel chair, I highly recommend it. They are so functional because they face a seating area that they're planned for, but they can also spin around to another seating area or another room and even outdoor. So in this house, in the summer, the doors are completely open. So I could swivel around, look at the pool, look at the kids playing outside or guests in the yard and feel connected. So come on over to the home office. I can't wait to show you this because the room is all black. Ceiling, walls, everything. Which sounds crazy, but you're gonna love it. Okay, this is the all black home office. So a lot of times when I say, let's paint the room black, the ceiling, the trim, the windows, everything, Clients can get a little scared, but I will say, since we started doing black offices, it's been very popular. So we did in this office, custom black shelves that were floating and chunky for scale. And this countertop, well, it's really a desk, but it's also a counter because it's so long, it's 15 feet. So my client can sit here, work on the computer, swivel around when he needs to and have this table space also. I think it's important to be able to have your computer space where you're doing your Zoom calls and you know, you're know you doing your work and then turn around and have a separate area where you can really lay things out and not have a computer screen in your face. So we created two desks for this client and a ton of storage on each side. And if you notice, most of the accessories in this room are also black. It sounds like a lot of black, but it really does work. I mean, even the pens we put in here are black. To contrast this you know, black room and this big black functional wall that has desks and everything in it, I wanted to have something soft. So we chose this gray oak table for a desk, and it's actually a dining table. So there's another little tip. We 
really love using dining tables as desks. So next to this, we have this really soft suede custom desk chair and it swivels nicely so my client can go from one side to the other. I love that we had the opportunity in this office because it was a large size to put this nine foot long custom leather sofa. And it just creates a little space, a little area where my client can take a break. It almost makes it feel a little bit like a man cave. And so we found this leather, it's beautiful. It feels like suede almost. And I just love how it softens the room. It's a warm brown tone, which is really nice against all the black tones that we have going on in here. And it also speaks to this beautiful, huge overhead fixture. This is one of my favorite fixtures because it's very organic. It feels almost like random. Every branch is a different length. So the bulbs at the end, they land in a different spot in the room. I, I think it's also super functional because you can sit here, have the longest branch come over you to light up that area. If you wanna move around, you're spending more time on the other side of the room. These easily, you just tap them and they move around the room. I love this fixture, it's one of my favorites. So now that I've shown you most of the first floor, let's go on upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms. Welcome to the primary bedroom. This is my favorite bedroom. It's so relaxing, it's ethereal and soft and very welcoming. It's exactly what I wanted it to be for our clients, just a nice refuge. We use so many nice materials and fabrics in here. And one of my favorites is this gauzy, really soft duvet cover. And to add a little bit of contrast, we wanted to blend in and layer on top this channeling in a coverlet. And the coverlet is velvet. And then we have this alpaca throw pillow. And if you get up close, you can see the texture of it. It has all these little loops in and it creates this very organic and natural pattern on the pillow. And this bed, it's a custom linen bed and it is so soft. The headboard is so soft, it's like a pillow. And if you look at the footboard, when you step off the bed, you can actually step on it and it's really soft. It's like a pillow. The whole bed feels like a cloud. Over here, we have this custom Eames chair wrapped in this really nubby soft boucle. And this is just a nice little moment by the fireplace where our clients can just read a book. And behind it is this custom cabinet that I designed and our woodworker made. And I wanted to have this vertical fluting to be consistent with the channeling on the quilt over here. So if you look around, it's something you might not pick up, but it's consistent, it's cohesive. And I think that those design elements that are subtle but consistent are what make rooms feel really pulled together calm and they just make you feel really good. I love when there's an opportunity to have a seating area in the primary bedroom. And this room was so large and expansive, we were able to create two separate areas. And my favorite thing about this area is this majestic cow. This piece of art is one of my favorites. So this majestic cow was on the beach in South Africa and it's got these floppy ears and these beautiful horns and he just looks so wise and so relaxed and that's how I want my clients to feel in this room I want them to feel relaxed and I want them to feel like it's their refuge let's take a look at the primary bathroom since this is a part of the primary bedroom I really thought it was important to keep with the design flow that we had going on in there and just bring it into here. So the palette is neutral. We have bold details like this freestanding, really organically soft shaped tub. And in all of the bathrooms in this house, you'll notice we did a floor to ceiling wall of tile that has texture. And I just felt like it was a really cool design element and I like that it was consistent throughout all the bathrooms. I really love the size of the shower. It's really spacious, and I love that the glass is frameless, the hardware is black, and then that there's a rain shower. 
Let's take a look at the other bedroom. What you'll notice about this room is it's a little darker, a little more moody, and a little more masculine. So we use darker color tones. We still have a lot of texture. We wanted to bring in the oak on the ceiling here. You'll notice the white oak on the ceiling is a little bit darker than everywhere in the house. I really like that there are two swivel chairs here with ottomans that you can push, easily push in or out. So you can kind of pop in the chair, put your feet up, and we used a really nubby boucle fabric here on the ottoman and the chair. So again, layering all these different textures in just one area is what really creates that kind of jump right in and relax feeling. The bed here was really important. We were able to do a king size bed. We did a nice leather headboard with vertical channeling, extra wide, and the leather is not a cold, hard leather. It's really soft, it almost feels like suede. This is the softest throw blanket I've ever felt. It's a king size, so it opens up to cover the whole bed, because winters do get cold here, and I think it fits in this really masculine bedroom. This bathroom is another area where I just want to highlight the tile feature wall. Here we did it inside the shower and we did it a little bit darker because it's just off the bedroom that's a little bit more masculine. And then here you can see the texture looks like concrete. And again, the rain shower and the dark hardware. It's very consistent. I love how even when you're walking to the third floor, you still get to experience this light sculpture. As you come up to the third floor, there's this small landing. And rather than putting an upholstered cushion on this built-in bench that we had to use to frame out the HVAC system, we let that kind of just be painted white and go away. It looks more like an architectural detail. And we decided to add in these really cool contemporary chairs. I love the curves, I love the silhouette, and most of all, it's really comfortable and the arm height is perfect for reading a magazine or a book. Over here, since it's the third floor, we really took it as an opportunity to create this flex room. It's a media room, a lounge room. We have this enormous custom sectional sofa. It feels like a cloud, you just kind of fall into it, it's extra deep. Another cozy feature that I love is this huge row blanket. It's so beautiful, it's so relaxing, and I just want to give our clients this extra bonus room where they can just relax and enjoy their beach house. Okay, so aside from this being a really comfortable, cozy, elevated beach house, it's really functional as well. So if you have kids and you're here at your beach house, we have a really awesome mud room that I really wanna show you because it has so much storage and it's great for any size family. So let's go take a look. This is one of my favorite functional spaces in this house. It is wall to wall, floor to ceiling storage. Who does not love that? And this is a great area where you can just kind of dump everything. When you're coming from the beach, you can hang your towels, beach bags, throw your shoes inside these drawers. It's my dream. I love this mudroom. Now that you've seen the mudroom, let's go downstairs and check out the home gym. We wanted to create a little functional area in this gym, so we brought in these really organic cubes, two of them, and we put them side by side to create a little console table. So this is an area where our clients can put their waters, towels, and anything else they may need to drop down before they work out. And then we decided to wrap the room with floor to ceiling custom mirrors. Now that you've seen the inside of the gym, let's go take a look at the beautiful exterior. I love the exterior of this home, both in the front and in the back. The back is so beautiful. It's consistent with the black and white palette, but what's even more beautiful is this 
six foot, almost six foot retaining wall. All the stones are different shapes, different sizes, and different colors. But when you step back and you look at it, it all has this warm, soft tone, which I love. On top of it, the railing that we used was cable wire. And this to me always screams coastal. So it was nice that we were able to incorporate it in the exterior. And the wood railing and posts really just make it feel like that kind of beach weathered look. So I just, I just love the inside, the outside, and also the backyard of this house. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed touring it as much as I love designing it.